All right, quick update. I am uh, just rounding the Cape of Good Hope. It's Cape Town, South Africa. And uh, I'm detecting radar signals. I don't think it's a plane. I think this is maybe a ship. Uh, weather is very, well, it's okay. Not particularly windy. Uh, visibility could be better. Let's see if we can tell who this is. It is a ship. It's a warship. Where is it? Three five five. Ah, I can just about see it. Okay, let's dive. I'll see you again. Maybe I could attack a warship. Is it alone? Or is it escorting, so escorting something? We're in a pretty good place here, right in front of it. So, all we need to do is stop and turn 90 degrees to the left and we'll be in a good firing position. Uh, let's see here. Is that about right? Um, thereabouts. It'll do. Yeah, this is quite a good position that we're in. Okay, we need to turn about 30 degrees, I think. Merchants, so it's a convoy of some description. All stop. We're pretty close. How far away are they? At nine kilometers. Let's let them get a little bit close before we take a look and try and identify them. There's the escort, there are the merchants, and it looks like the merchants might actually be passing behind me, which isn't a bad thing because I do have my stern tubes all full up. In fact, I think I'll probably nudge forward a little bit just to make sure they do pass behind me. Kleine Fahrt voraus! Let's go to silent running just in case. Schleifer. Beide Maschinen, kleine Fahrt. So this has kind of come to us on a plate, as long as the escort doesn't spot us, it should be pretty good. And they will be passing behind me, excellent. Okay, escort is moving away. Kind of. Ah! Hello! I don't want to uh, attract your attention. I don't want to do my measurements with an escort right next to my periscope. It's still there. Go away. Maybe I could just shoot you. Hmm. I've only got... Well, I've got four turtle torpedoes. The problem is once I attack this guy, these guys are going to start zigzagging. Which is not ideal. All right, let's see here what we have. I just thought I could have uh, I'd have memorized these things by now, but no. Large merchant, that looks spot on. There we go, okay. So here we go with this uh, device. Number of vertical marks, five, six, about seven. So you say number of 
uh, vertical marks on the inner dial. No, no, no. Hold on. Inner dial's top line. There we go. Yeah. And then mast height, uh, 33.2 which is about there or something, so that puts him about 1,600 meters, sounds good. There we go. Angle on bow, final range dial with the ship length, 155 there. Uh, I need to zoom out for the horizontal marks. Uh, 12, 14, 16 marks. I can't be right, can it? No, it's not right. Um, I think it's because I'm so close. I might need to guesstimate this. Looks like it's about 45. Well, maybe that thing was right then. I don't know. I'm going to guess about 60. For no reason whatsoever. Okay, now we need to do the speed. Just lower the scope while it passes to uh, hopefully ensure we don't get spotted. ship is there 33 seconds so for speed we take um, mid out of dial 33 there line up with the ship length 155 there nine knots uh, I guess maybe I don't know, I've got nothing else to go on, so that'll have to be it. Seems a little fast though. Don't really look like they're moving at that speed. I don't really have time to do this again though. Eh, uh, or maybe I do. Exactly the same time, isn't it? Yep, 33 seconds. So, double check my findings, I suppose. 33, 32, 33, 155. There, nine knots. Okay. Who shall I fire at? I think I'll fire at you instead because you're passing me um, and the solution is going to be a little bit better. So, I need to fire when you're at about. 165 degrees, fine. I could do with knowing what you are so I can get your draft. It's got a nice big smokestack. Is it an ore carrier? It's an ore carrier. And you have a draft of 7.4, 5, 6, 5, 6, 7.4. So let's put this at 8. We'll go for magnetics again. Magnetic, impact magnetic. I'm pretty sure that's correct. Let's hedge our bets. I'm going to go one impact, one magnetic. Why not? They're both type three, so that's good. Oh boy, here we go. It won't open the tube. Pressing Q. Oh, there we go. It's not giving me the tube opening notification message though. Oh well. Here we go. And they're away. Let's dive. Um, another thing about attacking from stern tubes is that I'm already pointing away from the convoy. Which gives me a bit of a 
Um, time saving advantage, I suppose. Now then. Let's see how we do. Uh, you're moving fairly fast, so I guess nine knots could be about right. I hope. I won't be able to see the. Uh... Oh, I can see the torpedoes though. Ah, uh, uh, you're moving faster than I thought you were. Oh no. Oh no, come on. Come on! Yes! Okay. Hit with one. I don't think I'll hit with the second one because that was aimed. Yeah, the second one missed. And I didn't really get a great hit. Although I've stopped its propeller, it looks like. I've disabled it. Which means I should be able to finish it off, providing I escape the tensions of this lone escort. Okay, let's uh, slow down now. And now I get the creakage. I just love a bit of the creakage. Uh, there, okay. Um, yeah. So let's go down to super slow silent speed. See how we do. I did actually have a dream about uh, Das Boot last night, weirdly enough. I dreamt I was in dust boot. Uh, I suppose you could call it more of a nightmare. But it wasn't too bad actually. It was a little bit surreal, as my dreams tend to be. I can't remember everything about what happened. But I remember being in this position with a destroyer above us. It's been a while since I've uh, properly had to evade the destroyer, I think, actually. Most of the time they come near to where I am, but they don't ping me. I haven't been pinged for a while. I'm not sure what's going on there. Has this other guy actually stopped moving? Or do they manage to restart the engine? Shit, they did! That is not good news, so this looks like it's probably going to be another fail attack because I doubt it's going to sink from one torpedo right on the stern there. Shitting hell. See, the calculation I did did state it was going about nine and a half knots, but I, for some reason I thought that was too fast, so I just put nine, kind of hedge my bets. Now it's the wrong decision. Okay. Pretty good with the destroyer here. In fact, he may have already given up. You know what? I believe he has. Yep, he's going back to his convoy. Fair enough. Uh, what's going on with my view? That's odd. For some reason, I can't select the two merchants. Let's have a look. Obviously a U-boat captain would not be able to do this. They didn't have drones. Uh, the rear end is sinking. But is it enough to bring this beast down? I don't think so. I'm not going to be able to catch up with them very easily. Plus I'm kind of running out of torpedoes as well. Let's follow it for a bit and see what happens, I suppose. Maybe it might sink. Oh, 
is starting to kind of go. It's definitely having trouble keeping up. Come on, sink. I do like the uh, wind sounds you get at Thai. She's going down. Yes, yes, I got a kill. I sunk a ship and we got lifeboats. I reinstalled my lifeboat mod because I didn't realize I'd uninstalled it. But uh, yeah, now we have lifeboats. And men swimming in those, well, not swimming, paddling, paddling in the lifeboats. Jesus. That's scary. This is kind of disturbing. Oh look, he's got a bloody head. No one's going to help you. You're all going to die. At least now I know what the uh, screenshot for my video will be. This, probably, if we can get a good, nice view. Ah, there we go. That's pretty nice. Nice cinematic view there. Help me! No one's going to help you. You're beyond help. Okay. That's enough of that. But yeah, we got uh, a sinkage. We sinkaged an ore carrier. Excellent job. Let's uh, continue onwards. And I can take away silent running. And we can reload these tubes as well. can I do while I'm here? Does anybody need rest? Some people need a bit of rest, it looks like. You need a rest. Uh, everything else is... Oh, why is this... Um, oh god, you need a rest. Let's swap you over. Yes! 2-5 ready. Uh, just tube six. Okay, so yeah, that was pretty good actually. Could have been better. But at least I did actually manage to sink something. Which is obviously, you know, why I'm here. It's my purpose in life. Um Okay, so I'll continue onwards now and uh Oops, wrong button. Rejoin you. If another opportunity comes along, or if I ma finally manage to reach my destination, a break of Madagascar. Ma, what's that? Mahajanga! I've never been to, well, never been to Madagascar, or Africa really. Uh, close I've been is Tenerife and Lanzarote when I was a child in the Canary Islands, which I suppose it is, you know, it's off Africa. I guess technically maybe part of the African continent. Anyway, I'm waffling. I'm going to surface the boat and continue onwards and I'll come back when 